Justin soon, everyone. Welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile, Breach League Hardcore. Last episode, we got our first Ascendancy. Uh, we picked up Painforge, which gives us 8% additional block chance if you were damaged by a hit recently, and 40% increased damage if you had taken no damage from hits recently. Um, doesn't do too much for us at this point in time, but I kind of need it to get Versatile... A versatile com uh, combatant, which is 100% block chance applied to spells. We need to get tankier. Today might be another one of those tangential episodes where we just don't talk about anything involving the game. Because with me, I have Kevin and Wendy here in the channel, just Hi. chilling. Hello. And, and I really want to talk about grilled cheese. And <laughs> and we we might be talking about grilled cheese a lot. So more about cheese. <laughs> oh, last time we were talking about cheese as well, right? Yeah. We're yeah. talking about the raclettes. Yeah. The point is, raclette stinks. Uh, in in, more, days, I mean, in more ways good, than one. You make it. But what is it about raclette cheese that, you know, once you... Once it's warm, it stinks so much more. Why does it smell like feet? Why does it smell uh, like feet? I mean, I didn't think it smelled like feet. I thought it smelled like... Sewage, maybe? <laughs> It's None of these are bad. good things. None of these are good smells. It, it, it had... Well, one thing's for sure, it wasn't feet. I can tell you that much. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying. It wasn't feet. Okay. Okay. I like stinky stuff. I like durian as well. Nah, yeah. not my thing. Maybe Kev just likes stinky things. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm down with stinky tofu. That's why I hang out with you guys. Oh, uh -huh. What a bird. <laughs> that was a slam. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh, Kev, I'm so jealous of your noodles. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abalone yeah. noodles. Is that is that an Asian yeah. thing? It, it's a very Asian thing. Really? It's, so it comes in like tiny little packets, and there are like so many brands of these. It's just dried noodles, and um, you boil them, and then you're supposed to like take out all the water, and then mix it with like this abalone sauce, or abalone sauce. I, I actually don't know how to pronounce it. I mean, maybe it's abalone, because people would get confused and think a bologna is actually like a bologna. And they're like, why the fuck are you eating bologna like noodles? You know, I have Google. I'm just gonna look this up. Did we make bologna noodles? Bologna noodles? Excuse me. No, just the ideas are flowing. <laughs> <laughs> we cl we need to do something crazy, apparently. I think so. Yeah. So I've learned how to make really good pasta. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. Possibility. I mean, your lasagna was pretty bomb. Oh my god, the new thing I made, the bolognese, is so good. Yeah? Oh, I want, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want some. What do you uh, think is the best kind of noodles? Is there, is there a... Like, the best noodles? Like, is, yeah, is ramen supposedly the best... Uh, and I'm not, and I'm, I mean this in two ways, like, best, like, you know best way to cook noodles in the sense that you know ramen broth or something or is it like in like the best like flour noodle itself you know yeah i think your um, the quality of ingredients matters quite a bit yeah i'm sure um so like those yeah. rice noodles it's like not my thing mm -hmm. but right. if you put it with some like vermicelli quality ones, you can make like pad thai right yeah i don't like know I mean, I'm okay with it, but if I had a choice, I like noodles that have, like, a so bite to it. Or? No, 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 they need to have a bite to it. Okay. I don't like how they break apart. Hmm. You know? I think you yeah. wouldn't like these abalone noodles. Like, those egg noodles. I really like those. I was just gonna say, because I made, like, egg yolk noodles this yeah, weekend. Yeah, they're really nice. They're really rich. It was really mm. good. And I rolled a... I rolled rolled it too thin, but it's still I don't know. I still taste it. Kind of it's kind of rustic. It's a lot of some stuff stuck together. It still tastes really good, but um, it's it's pretty good. It just depends on the thickness. So next time I'll make it. Try to borrow some pasta maker or something like that. So these abalone noodles are just like they're very springy, 
uh, but they're thin. And okay. They kind of just clump together. Oh. So it's it's um it's good. I like these. Wait, so are they expensive then? I have no idea. Because Someone normally abalone yeah. or abalone, they're 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 like expensive seafood, right? Like nah, when you go to a bad. wedding and you have a ten course dinner or whatever, like they always only give you one fucking piece of abalone, you know? <laughs> like there has to be a reason for that. It's not that expensive. It's like not ridiculous. No. I mean people farm it commercially nowadays, it's not crazy. Like, do you think they would serve abalone noodles in like a family restaurant? Like a noodle house and it's like what kind of noodles do you want? Egg noodles, rice noodles, and there's like fucking abalone noodles. Like, well, it's not like it's made from. It's just noodles with like abalone flavoring. It's kind of oh. like truffle oil. As oh. Well, like natural truffle. I mean, even so, oh, truffle oil is pretty okay. expensive. I'm just saying. I don't like truffle. What? Yeah, like I have truffle popcorn, and it's just like too much. I don't know. That's the last. I mean, it's the taste it's of much. luxury, okay? I know. I just, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm Oh yeah, <laughs> actually, um, I'm gonna that say it's overrated. And then Derek says, Derek and Don said, I think everything's Sarah overrated. And I was like, and then like, you know what? You're overrated. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, by who? <laughs> by who? <laughs> what did you think? What did you say was overrated? Um, uh, Captain Spoil, probably. I think that's what we we're walking past at the time. Oh, oh I want that. Oh, you heard I'm really overrated. jealous. But the, I want Captain Spoil. Yeah. Okay. I want to make my own Captain's Boil. That's why I think everything's overrated. Like, we need to, we need to go to someone's backyard, get a picnic table, get some plastic tablecloth, just boil a giant-ass pot of se layers of seafood, and then dump it all on the table and eat it. That's the traditional Me and Don had it. that in San Francisco. It was really good. Wait, mm. hold on. Hold on. Explain it to in layman's terms. What's cap Captain's Boil? Mm-hmm. What is Wait, it? you never heard of this? No! So it's, it's a really big chain right now. Wow. It's very popular. Even I know about yeah, it. I don't even live there. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I need to be a... Uh... It's a hot trend, anyway. It's, it's, uh... I'm like it's always one year behind, you know, on the... on the trends. Okay. I'm always behind. Like, I'm still getting used to the sushi burrito shit. <laughs> Yo, I hate that shit. That's just a really big mocking. Yeah, I know. I just want like to call it yeah, overrated. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. Is that is that overrated? That's pretty overrated. I think, I think that's overrated. Mm. All right. Um, because I don't know when I took my American regional class, like our instructor was talking about it. How like what you do is you put all like layers of seafood like in a pot. And then, yeah, you, like you boil all that up, and then you just like dump it all out on a picnic table, and everyone goes ham. Really? Is that how it works? Is it, it? Yeah, like that's the tr yeah, that's like how they would do it. In Is it expensive? It's a restaurant, right? It's a restaurant. The restaurant's expensive, but I'm saying we could do it ourselves. Oh. You know, it's like, I have a big pot. Because yeah, if it's, I, I mean, I always like like trying those things, like going out and trying it out. But if it's like. Expensive oh, and no, overrated, then I'm like, oh, it's affordable. It's fine. You know what? I'm sure you'll like it. I'm sure you'll like. It's not like a, a cheap night out, but it's like you know, it's, it's like isn't it like all you can eat? I think that's why, right? Or oh, is that like okay? There's like one on Queen Street. It's like pretty nearby. There's tons. Yeah, there's just, they're opening up. I got just one by one on Young. That like around. Okay. Mostly. College or something like that. And then, yeah, see, I, I'm like behind on like the city, city fads, but I do try to keep up with the memes. So I actually haven't gone to the Captain's Boil, so I'm just talking out of my ass. But I've just oh, heard okay. people say that. But I've heard, I've heard like, people like, yeah, but it's, it's okay. But so mm. I just feel like it's something we could do ourselves. Yeah. Tell that us sounds about fun. The uh, the hottest memes? You yes. want you want you want the list? I don't have a list. I just know of one. I know of two. 
The first one. I bet I don't know. It's like two weeks old. I don't know. It's like a, a couple. It's like a month or two old now, which is the Salt Bay meme. I'm sure you've seen it already. Yeah, I've seen that. You've one. seen the Salt Bay, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And then yep. th and then now I I saw a bunch of memes on Twitter that were like, "Cash me outside. How about that?" You see that? Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See. Wait, see. What? You know. What is that one? You know. Cash me outside. Wait, how about that? How about the that? Jerry, Jerry Springer girl. No, I don't know that one. Stay out of the shadow. Be well. That one, someone's about to share. Drop. Am I? Am I gonna share? Was Is that what I'm doing? Why are you? So I was wrong? playing Poe, no, but okay, hold on. Cash me outside. How about that? You're you. You have too many T's and too many like pronunciations. More S's are needed. Oh, ca cash me outside. How about that? How okay, should cast me outside? Cast me outside. I don't know. I, my favorite one was when they put in the uh, Slim Shady. You're right. Cash me outside. Cash me outside. Stay out of the shadow. Wait, what is what is the actual sentence? Catch me outside. How about that? I see. Okay. It turned into cash me outside. How about that? And then it got memed up. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, oh, wait, I'll just... it's, it's I've seen it on Facebook. I just didn't. Yeah, see, on, see, you I know, I... everyone knows. Hot, hot memes, hot memes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, my mitten was not at the theater where I left it, so they say. So now Excuse I need. Excuse me. Mitten. Oh, and I'm very frustrated. Like your gloves. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. No. See, we were talking about Same food, so as... it's, I was like, why the fuck would you leave oven mitts at the theater? Jesus, mittens are not gloves. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, uh... Yeah, never mind. Wait. I just, need, I just need new mittens. Oh, okay. Because it's getting cold. Mm -hmm. I don't really know where to get them because everyone's switching to their freaking spring lines already. Ugh. I, mean, I bet Roots has it. They got some pretty uh, nice mittens. What? Roots? Roots. Roots is not cool anymore. You're they're, so behind. They're they're. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not buying anything from Roots. What do you mean? It's not. Cool. They're like comfy and shit, yo. <sighs> Wait, what are you talking about? Am I I'm an old man? Well, yeah, you are. <laughs> Why are you old man? I left my she, mittens. She judged me for saying you can buy mittens from Roots. Yeah, I have mittens from Roots. Yeah, you so have mittens from Roots? I You're talking to an even older man. She refuses to buy <laughs> from Roots. Because apparently that's 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 for people look, Wendy, catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see if there's anything on the site. Okay. So I found what about I found Uniqlo? where I saw it on Facebook, but it's like a remix version. I thought it was just a song. I don't know what the actual um, origin is. Mm. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was like a thirteen-year-old girl on Jerry Springer or something. She's thirteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? She's, she's thirteen. What? Ooh, I found. I found the video. No, you're mean. So I typed in mitten and nothing came up because they don't have shit for me. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm sad. I'm just sad. I just figured if I went back there, cause I lost it on Monday. I figured if I went back there. Oh yeah, it's when you went to watch yeah. that movie. Yeah, and I left. The one with Viola Davis. That one. <laughs> one not with Viola Davis. Okay. That's correct. <laughs> the one specifically not with Viola Davis. Yeah, and I just I don't know. Maybe I'll go to... Wait, is it Jerry Springer or Dr. Phil? Oh, 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 it was Dr. Phil, it was Dr. Phil, it was Dr. Phil. Was Dr. Phil. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'm old, so I thought it was Jerry Springer. I assumed. Yeah, see, that's... Is Jerry Springer still, like, a thing? It's not, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I no, just... now that's like dating yourself. Yeah, I'm old, that's fine. <laughs> mm, okay.
Okay. Uh, maybe I'll go to Mech and buy some. Mech. Buy some stuff there. Do you have a membership? It's five dollars, so yes, yeah, I have a membership. Mm. It's five dollars for life. You don't have a membership? I do. Okay. <laughs> but then I find the stuff is overpriced. I'm like, why did I even like pay for a membership? Well, what are you buying? Now? I bought a backpack. Yeah, I know. We all bought a backpack. We, I bought some of the backpacks. That's pretty much. All right, I, I just watched the video. I get it now. <laughs> you get it now. Now watch I the one with M and M. Did you did you did you watch that one? Looking it up. You know, I liked it better when we were having conversations about cheese and food and shit. Oh my god, okay, so we're gonna have a Bible Ockley party. <laughs> what does that have to do with cheese? What does that have to do with food? What were we talking about again? We were gonna have wine. Oh have yeah. Oh yeah, wine and wine bread. and bread. This is my body. <laughs> you know how <laughs> apparently the rules I I like had a quick glance. It's not whoever like bankrupts everybody else wins, it's like whoever builds I guess what's essentially the hotel. Oh, okay. It's Stare like whoever builds the church gets to ascend. Um heaven. yeah, and then everybody else has to pay a cost and then we get to ascend to how heaven together. How do I get Wait, to hell? Does everyone get to go to hell? No, we we go to heaven I together. Would like to go to it's hell. just who gets to heaven faster, <laughs> that's all. Like oh. I, I like I think like I read it really quick. But I okay. think how it worked was like you build yourself the church and then once you build the church you uh you pay the cost to ascend to heaven and uh if you can't ascend you like go around in a couple circles until eventually you can afford to go. Either that or I just talked out of my ass for like the last thirty seconds. But that's what it looked like. It's a little silly, actually. Why did I get it? Why did you get it? Why did so, I get it? What do you pay to, to ascend? Uh, devotion. Favor? Oh my god. One uh, of those. Night will make you ascend to heaven faster. Whoa, freaky. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Together, we will all ascend. Suddenly very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when we play, I'll make Kool-Aid. What for? <laughs> to that so, kind of party? Yeah. Where we don't, we get to leave. <laughs> well, we all get to ascend. We, we all leave, leave together. We all leave together. To the, to the promised land. Yeah, we're just going to the promised land. Okay, okay. Okay, great. I'll make Kool Aid. Goodbye. Wait, did he just. Okay. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Um, so wine and bread is all you're serving at this party? No, we're just, that's like the, like, we're that's, how we started. That's like the main thing, you know, but it's see, like the like, theme. if you have bread, then you can just make real cheese. There's just so many possibilities. All I want is... You? Wine. Bread. Wine. All you want is wine. All I want is that video of Mariah... Mariah Carey singing All I Want For Christmas Is You and the Spider-Mans. <laughs> Have you seen it yet, Wendy? Did you see no, the Spider-Mans? Yeah, you didn't watch no, the Spider-Mans? No. It was Man. late. Also, where, where, like, I, I, there's like this, this Dr. Phil clip is four minutes long. I don't want to watch it. There's another one. Four minutes. There's a shorter one. Okay. Where she actually it? interviews, where he actually interviews her. Like the full interview? No, no, no. It's just like a clip. The oh. interview. Where she's like talking incoherently. Cash me <clears> outside. <throat> how about that? Oh, oh, I kind of oh, want to oh. see the full interview now. We're... I'm trying to figure out where I want to get my next jewel socket. Probably here. Bubble you? Yeah, I can just check. 53. Yo, man. Okay. I see her throwing her water bottle at the camera. That's nice. That's great. Crazy. 
Do you think they do it on purpose because they're on the show? They're like, oh, I, like, like prior to getting on the show, they're like, okay, like Wait when you little. get on, just act a little crazy. Like, just be you, but a little bit of like a crazier version of you. It's possible. Mm. I don't know. I want to. They set it up somehow. Everything or like they just do a lot of recordings and they only keep the really crazy ones. Well, definitely that. Right. Uh, also, what was the what was the consensus on how to pronounce it? The word abalone. Abalone. Abo no, I just linked the video. Wait, let me. I didn't listen to it. Right. I just I'm asking if you could just. Hey, you know, there's an entire YouTube channel just for pronouncing words. Yes. It's fucking Kevin's genius. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's abalone. 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 You're right. Oh, sweet. It's not very often that I'm correct. I need to <laughs> savor this. So I have to watch this. So I have to watch this. Uh, try not to laugh. Business. Uh, well, I mean, just watch until the Spider-Man part. Just watch until okay. Mariah Carey. Alright. Or just watch Mariah Carey. I'm watching. Well, I guess Bye. you can watch the one after Mariah Carey, too. I believe in traveling light. Well, the rest of them really were not. No, great. they weren't. They weren't funny. I thought the one after was pretty funny, too. Yeah, I guess. It, it it had that continuation joke, you know. It's it's very important those kinds of jokes. Okay, try not to smile. All right. I don't know. It says it contains adult language, so. Wendy's just a naturally unhappy person. <laughs> no, it's because it's too overrated. Yeah, everything's too okay. overrated. I believe in friendly light. I've basically given up on the Cyclone Dream until like maps. Are you just scared? I'm s yeah, I'm scared. From last time? Yeah. Dude. Okay, this mask feeling is just uncomfortable. I don't. I the, don't. the what? The first one. It's very strange. But like, so I had a, um, I was playing PoE off stream, or like okay. off camera, and I saw Ash. I didn't even like Ooh. bother with the breach. Like straight up, I just ran the other way as fast as I could. He was like, nope. Yeah, I never came back. Here. That's how scared I am. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> I just I'm trying to skip ahead. Not... Damn it! Don't... I tried to skip All right. I just didn't know what I was running into. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. I guess you saw it. It's pretty funny. I think I've seen that before, though. The spider mans Yeah. Probably. I mean, they've synced it up with other stuff. Yeah. It, it's good. It's, it's pretty good. That one was pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. It's, un it's unexpected. Well, that's the whole point. It was. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why the first one was so bad. Yeah. I believe. Wait, what was the first one again? The mask off peeling. Mask. Oh, yeah. that one was bad. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Whatever happened to their trademark thing? Did they give up on that? Oh yeah, they gave up on that so fast. The Fri Fine Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, they uh I thought they j they were just going to like they started losing too many subscribers. I I, I know, but I thought they were just going to be like, "Oh, whatever," and carry on. No, they were not whatever. But you know what though? Oh. They have like a lot of employees now. It's kind of crazy. Like they're a legit like company. Well, a lot of these um YouTube companies are. I mean, yeah, but <clears throat> like actual production companies. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, that was all right. Anyway. It was. It was only the Spider Man. Yeah, only the Spider Man was uh, entertaining, but 
It was good. Hmm. So, Wendy, we should decide on where to go by um, figuring out what food you want to eat. Is uh, that how you Montreal guys... meat. <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're going there already. Okay, well, food team? Uh... <laughs> that's, that's still Montreal. Okay, well, like, obviously we should just go there. Okay, we, we are. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Do you want to come to Montreal? When? Uh, Victoria Day weekend. I've, I was going to send an email to everyone, but I've just been busy. I haven't done it yet. Maybe? Yeah, I'm going to gather some interest. and uh, yeah, Let's see how it goes and uh, consider it. My plan is to rent a like Airbnb mansion, and then we can all... A chateau. That sounds fun. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yep. Yep. I don't want to commit, just in case. But well, you'll have to commit by a certain time. Okay, I'll commit by a certain time. Yes. Yeah, not right now, but yeah. I mean, why? Do you have other? Do you potentially have other plans over Victoria Day? When's Victoria Day? June. May. 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 Oh, probably not. Yeah, because our plan's the best. What? What other plans do you have? All your friends are going to be in Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> what cheese do you like on your poutine? Going back to the cheese. It has to be the cheese curd. Cheese, the curds. cheese curds. Oh my god, yeah. There's no... Like you can't go without or... the cheese curds. No, no, no. Like, what if you have option of uh, fancier cheese? Fancy like, cheese curds? Oh, sure. I don't know. It just... Okay, if I had a fancy-ass cheese... <clears throat> what do you think is the best taste in cheese that you've had? Comte. Comte? I knew you were going to You said that. this. <laughs> Why did you even ask? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was looking the moment I asked, I'm like, bad. uh... <laughs> I know what's coming. Um... Nice good it's great by itself by itself uh, like what do you think would be the best cheese to, to to go on a poutine would you if you had the choice of any cheese would you still pick cheese curds i don't think i would now that i think about it i, I would wouldn't. still pick cheese curds really no yeah. i would go fancier but it has go to have fancier. the right melt consistency Okay, I'm sure they didn't yeah, pick cheese curds because sure. it had the best melt consistency. If anything, it had the best melt consistency to value ratio. You know? So then why can't anyone else figure it out? Because it's expensive. That to just, experiment with some just, cheese. Like, like it has the... It's like, it's like cheap and it tastes good, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I suspect that's what it is, but maybe I'm. But then, wrong. how come other most restaurants that can't figure that out? They get cheaper cheese, right? So that's. That, that's that's true. There is no fancy ass. Yeah. There's no fancy schmancy mm -hmm. poutine shop that doesn't use cheese curds, right? Yeah, because that would be wrong. I wouldn't mind trying it. Uh, I mean, I try it. Oh god! Oh god! Hey Wendy, have you gotten to that like point where it's like, yo, what's the point of like trying new things when I already know what I like? Have you have you gotten there yet? No. No. Okay. Just You're not trying enough things. Just checking. <laughs> have you? I hope you haven't. Uh, no, but like, what are we talking? I mean, about? I still have times. No, like when you like eat food or something. Like you go to a restaurant. Uh -oh. And then it's like, yo, like I, I know I really like the, I don't know, like, I, I know I like li like the bacon burger or whatever, but fuck, man, they have like the pepper burger using three types of different peppers. I don't know. Yeah, I can try it. And then you eat it, and you're like, man, like the regrets. I wish I just got okay. a bacon. Okay, no, feels like that's a bad I, example, but I don't think, uh, I don't think about there yet. Um. 
But if it's like a comfort, if it's comfort food, you can just order what you like, though. Just, like I, I mean, a lot of these examples come from food where it's like, yo, like I'd really like this thing, but they said this thing's a special, you know. So I guess I'll no, try I'm a it. For that shit. I will. And then you I try it, and specials. it's like, oh, Kev is such a sucker. Kev is such I'm a like, sucker. I'm like, oh, I want that. I've never ha heard Kev's of that. Such before. a sucker. For yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I did and too. The special, the specials, like the three-day-old fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> three-day-old fish. Thing. I've never had three-day-old fish before. <laughs> Not two-day-old fish, but three-day-old fish. That's, that's special. That's something. That's the Monday special. No, I, I, would, I will fall for that. Yeah, I, I fall for it fall. every time. What? But I regret it every time. It's like I don't learn. Oh, yeah, no. I do, I think I'm more on the, yeah, if I, if I, I'll get what I like. I, but I'm still trying to. I say I regret it every time. I've, uh, I it's paid off. I mean, like, I mean, it's paid off one, one time out of I ten, you get, it. like, a jewel. You find something that's like, fuck yeah. Right? I know, yeah, it's true. But, like, yeah, those but other nine times, it's like, man, I just, like, I just wasted $20 on something that I didn't even enjoy, you know? It's like, was oh, it? Was that, that worth it? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it, that happens a lot. Yeah. It, it does, but I'm still, like, the ratio is still good enough for me to do it. Like I'd say, <laughs> over the last two years, I went to restaurants, and I like just randomly mm -hmm. tried new things. Maybe I can remember distinctly three times where I actually like went like, okay, like this was the best choice ever. Like I'm gonna come back and order this thing again. Hmm. Maybe twice. Twice. Oh. Twice. Damn. Wow. I always go back and get the same thing. I do do that. Like, it's yeah. Good. And then, and then, like, I go back to, like, say, say Fusaro. I went back to Fusaro. I really like their sausage, whatever. Okay. Pasta. And I yep. go back and I'm like, man, but I had it last time. I'm going to try something different because I'm going to, you know, try new things. And then I tried it. I'm like, should have gotten the fucking sausage pasta. Yeah. And their Caesar salad's really good too. Honestly. Yeah. So I went to uh, I went to Grazzi, and I had okay. their Where's baked goat cheese salad. Okay. Yo, that was like the best shit I've had in my life. Okay. I've never. Okay. It's like, basically goat cheese with arugula with weird like Italian. Um, Vegetables that are like steamed or boiled and then seasoned. It kind of tastes like suan tie. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it I've had, I had this in uh, when I was in Nice. It had like the exact same taste. I'm like, is this like a thing? It, it tastes just like fucking suan tie. It has like <laughs> all the the same seasonings. Maybe that's why oh, okay. I like it. And then it's like wrapped in uh, in pastry. Like eating a sausage roll, but there's like goat cheese in it and shit. That's pretty good. It's pretty dope. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was great. But that was like the one time in like the last two years where I actually found something where I'm like, you know, that was a good decision. So it's not worth it for you to like find that again. Well, it's like when I go back to places, I mean, I still like try to order different things, but I'm. Every time I do, I'm like, I should have ordered like what I knew was good. Okay, I think I'm more confident of what I know, and yeah, I order what. But I do have the, I did have those regrets for a while. I just, I don't know. Now I. And and that's what I mean by I like, that. instead of like trying new things, you're like, man, fuck, what's the point? I'm not like that. I'm not jaded about it. I'm just excited about what I like. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not like, what's the point? I'm like, this is what I like. What came here to get, so this is what I'm gonna get. If that's no, I, I will always, always, always get something. But you could always yeah, discover something that, that potentially could be better. Like if I go to dinner with someone and the person I'm having dinner with orders the thing that I wanted, I would just try. It. I will yep. not get it. Yep. Get the yep. same. Yep. Uh, it depends. No, it totally depends. If it's a new restaurant, obviously I won't I won't get the same thing. But if it's something like I know I'll like, then yeah, let's get Castle again. 
fine. Ooh. I mean, Kelso is pretty damn good, I won't deny that. <laughs> you do better. I, I, honestly, the biggest perpetrator, like, I do that the most. Actually, no, no, no. If I go to a Thai restaurant, I order the same shit every time, now that I think about it. <laughs> but, like, how many choices are there, really? There's yeah, a few. I'm getting a little tired of Thai food, actually. Yeah? I can see that, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh... I didn't think I would say this, but... It's been, like, two years, and I've eaten a lot of Thai food. Is there... are there any new things you can try? Not really, I mean... Right. It's all variations of the same type of cooking. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like instead of putting this type of spice with this type of fish, it's putting the same spice with a different type of fish. Instead of uh, fish sauce, they give you the special, which is three day, three day old fish sauce. Mm. <laughs> You really gotta hey, age that fish, fish sauce. sauce. Yeah, I mean, it might actually taste better that way. <laughs> Listen, you gotta, you gotta age the fish sauce. It's true. It's true. Yep. It's like vinegar. Yeah, it's true. All the fish. Did you know, Worcestershire sauce is like made from fish. Yeah, I only it's found that out like maybe two sauce. years ago. It's white people fish sauce. Yeah, it's white people yeah, fish I didn't sauce. Know That's that why until I heard. Very recently. Now you do. Worcestershire sauce. I'm never confident on how to say that. Worcester? Nope, that's a different. Worst. Hey, uh, look message. this up on the on the YouTube I also channel. Can't say, I cannot say that state name. Massachusetts. Okay. Massachusetts. It's not a hard I have a lot state. Of trouble. I have a lot of trouble with that one. Okay, when's the last time you guys been to a buffet? Or an all you can eat. Um, sushi. December. Christmas time. December, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sushi. Yeah, December. Okay. I, t I told you right. Like, a uh, Christmas buffet is a very big thing. Nope, haven't heard of that. I know. Oh, people, people go to buffets. It's it's really strangely. Like every single hotel here, like Shangri La, Sheraton, uh, Intercontinental, Peninsula, they all offer this thing called Christmas buffet. It's like maybe. 600 to a thousand honkies per person what's going on mm -hmm. wow and it's it's a lot of food it's just a lot of food okay and it's you have to book it in advance wow buffets no, huh i mean even in toronto here you have a lot of buffets that are just whenever there's a special occasion it's like always full yep right it's true but this is like advertised christmas buffet Come to this and this so and so hotel. Canada Day, come eat at Mandarin. Yeah. Or that. Yo, sure. like my the roommate that got deported, they are like big time fans of Mandarin. What? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? What? Like he like it would be like, oh, can't find a place to eat. I'm like, where do you want to go eat? He's like, how about Mandarin? I'm like, no. No. <laughs> How about you no. don't eat at all? Like, if that's your gonna be your decision, like, <laughs> let's not go anywhere. Let's just starve because that's I'd, I'd rather do that. Like, what? He's like, yeah, man. Awful. The place is great. I mean, like, all right. I, I've never been to Mandarin. You? That's uh, I just imagine it's bad. I I haven't gone since I was like under ten, I think. So. Well, he's, he's like, you know, they got, it's like, it's like lots of food and it's like decent food. I'm like, as a chef, you shouldn't be making that kind of blanket statement anyways, you know? He's a chef? He's a yeah, chef! he's a chef. And he wants to go eat a Mandarin? He wants to go eat a Mandarin! This is some high praise. We should go eat a Mandarin. I don't wanna. I don't we wanna should go, either. What? I was kidding. We should I really go eat with Mandy. Right now. You know how I used to work uh, at uh, you know how I used to work at the Canadian Tire uh, offices yeah. at Young Eglinton, and there's a Mandarin downstairs. Yeah, I remember just like going back after a lunch hour every day, going to the elevator and seeing people that walk out of Mandarin, and they just <laughs> looked like... like they hated life and <laughs> they hated themselves. I, I because just, they I went to Mandarin wanted... for lunch. I don't know. It just just it's just 
something I noticed. It might be because they don't like Mandarin, or it might just be because they were depressed people to begin with. Great That's observation. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. It looks sad. Hey, have you seen the Wendy's roasts? No? What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. The Wendy's roasts. Like, the person who got hired as this... I, I don't know who it is, but basically, uh, Wendy's Twitter page. They just roast people all day. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, like, reply to everybody and just sends out roasts. Interesting. I don't know if they still do it, but there was a point where it's, like... Cool. Cool story. <laughs> I found a Wendy's in Philippines. Oh. I haven't had a Baconator in a while. Oh, I haven't had a Wendy's in a long, long time. Like, since it's it like, like one of the only one places in Asia where I could find a Wendy's. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's no, well, nowhere else has a Wendy's, I don't think. Oh my gosh, Kev, when you get back, we have to do the Popeye's Biscuit Plus. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, yeah. Which one's better, the Popeye's biscuit or the Red Lobster biscuit? I've never been to Red Lobster. You've never been to Red Lobster? <laughs> no. Well, I can't really judge you. I've never been to Mandarin. Wait, what? You guys call yourselves Why? Canadian? Uh, How? This Mandarin is not yeah. a Canadian thing. I was born is here. It? <laughs> Isn't Mandarin like a pretty Canadian thing? I don't know. Yeah, Wendy's the most Canadian. Like, I can place. understand Red Lobster. It's like, you know, it's, it's like fringe American, like, the restaurant. It's not exactly family friend. Like, you know, it's not a Montana's I mean, or whatever. Mm. Yo, Red Lobster is pretty dope. I'm just saying. Are of you, all the, are like. You about, huh? Are you talking about the one across from Eaton Center? Yeah. Well, no. Uh, I mean, I've been to other Red Lobsters. There's more than one Red Lobsters in Toronto? Uh, I've been to one in Windsor. Okay, oh, well, okay. that was not... <laughs> okay. Yeah, huh? no, okay. it's not... It's not that good. Uh, I might have like grilled cheese, because I stayed up too late once again. And now I'm starving. So, um... It's okay. It's Thursday. No, wait. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Right? Now it's Thursday. Right, now it's Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, Thursday for me, so it's Thursday for you guys. The whole week. I've been sleeping like real late every day. I'm gonna take a nap when you guys go to bed. God. I you gonna sleep one of these days. Probably I keep telling I've said that to every single day. I haven't slept. I just Sleep's uh sleep's generally good for you. Yeah. I feel terrible the whole day. So I don't know what's wrong with me, but... Yo. So, I, that board game that I wanted to buy, it's like out... Yeah. But they've yeah. sent out the, rest the restock, they've they sent it to the distributors, and once it gets to the distributors, it goes to the stores after. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and? The moment I get it, I want to play it, guys. I saw this really cool one that, um... I haven't... Can't really I, help the packaging there. design was really cool, but I wanted to check it out, but... What's it called? Uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'll get up really quickly. Sabarabla blah blah. blah. Nope. Sabarabis. I don't think Sin so. Blah, 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 blah. Does it start with S? It starts with an S. It had like little characters on the top. Hold on, it's not that. It's something else. I'm just gonna look it up and I will get back to you. Okay. So what's your game called? Scythe. Right. Oh, so good. So you played it last week? I played it once, yeah. Where did you play? I played it at a friend's friend's house. Uh, it's called okay. Stranger and Stranger. Stranger and Stranger. I never heard of it. Look it up. It's. Uh, oh, there's another one I want to. I'll, I'll look at, look it up after actually. I don't know the gameplay. It's just like the most beautiful. <laughs> uh, there's one. Uh, look up uh, uh, oh, food chain magnet. Magnate. Oh, Magnate. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna send you the link to this other one first. My spirit is spent. I'm sure it is a million dollars, but. What? Sorry. 
strangest designing the strangest board game we've ever seen. All food, right. food, what? Make food, food what? chain magnate. Food chain, okay. I feel like that would be up your alley if it wasn't two hours long. Why? You don't think I have any patience? Think I'm it's, done? It sounds like an amazing game. Okay. But it's just really long. Gotcha. I'm fine with that. Ooh, it looks adorable. I I actually think it's like right up your alley. Yeah, totally. I bet it is. You're like the CEO of a restaurant and you hire chefs and stuff. And okay. you hire workers. Mm -hmm. And then you manage the supply chain of uh, your restaurant. Sounds like What's work. I yeah, that's what this. Kev said. He's like, it sounds like work. I, I was like, like, I don't want to do work while I'm playing board games. I think that's fair. Did uh, oh should god. I tell you how I destroyed them in Catan? Oh my god. I no, go on. You got crushed. <laughs> well, they're, they're like, John is like, let's play a board game. And he's like, well, nothing's fast. And he's like, let's play Catan. I'm like, it'll be fast, it'll be fast. And then I just like. So she. We played Catan where it's like. You don't spread the. Yeah, you just ra you randomize the. The chits where like. So oh, the shot. sixes were beside each other. And Wendy went first. Ooh. So she naturally just put her like settlement on both sixes. And the okay. sixes were like. They were like pretty good sixes. It was like. Like. Brick and wheat or something, yeah. Yep. And then she, the rest of her settlement, she did it in a way. We we were pretty dumb. We, did, we must have done something wrong. She she did it in a way where she basically would get something from every roll. So you pretty much just got. So fucked. after two or three rounds, I don't rounds, think that's true. You were getting from everything except for. The reason I won is because I built into the wood port and the brick port. No, you had eights and sixes though. You had three, two that's sixes true. and an eight. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. But yeah, uh, we got destroyed. Stay out of the shadows. It wasn't even like. Oh, was kept there for that game of Splendor. <laughs> no. Where like <laughs> Wendy was about Splendor. to win, so everybody worked together for like three whole rounds to try and stop her. The first time we played Splendor, like, it was showing us new game. He's like, I've never played this game before or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, let's try it out. And then I, like, somehow came up with a strategy. Without, Yo, like, that was the strategy, though. Without, 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 you know, I just didn't think about it. I just did it. And then ever since then, and so I'm like, and I destroyed them. And then ever since then, I show him has used the same strategy. To Yo, I've never time. lost <laughs> since. I've actually never lost since. Because I tried playing like the way you guys did the game after, and I was like, I'm not gonna win. I can't. <laughs> I see. Yep. I'm a genius. I see. But it it would be stuff like That's so in I Splendor think. you can uh, you can basically sacrifice a turn to take a card so that other person can't take it. We were like all sacrificing our turns just to stop Wendy from. Nobody was getting anything out of it. We were just like. Just delaying. Yeah, we're delaying it, That's doing it for the good of the team. Yeah, exactly. Okay. She still won, but it was close. You guys, so you guys failed. Oh, it was real close. <laughs> Everyone was like a turn away. Okay, the system like the system broke. Okay, because some people realized that after like a couple turns, now they had a chance of winning. Yeah. <laughs> and then people were like, okay, I can't, I can't take this turn. Like we had a chance, man. Someone else could have won, but they were like, no, like I had to do this in order to like yeah. take my victory. Sure. And oh, we lost our chance. The pack was not strong enough. It, it wasn't. The chain of command. You have to follow the chain of command. Nobody did that. Yeah, you gotta focus on the goal, man. Yeah. Beating Wendy. And uh, yeah. No, I'm a winner. All right, I'm a winner. Right. I'm a winner. I'm making real cheese. And you're a rich girl. <laughs> what cheese are you using? I'm using smoked provolone. What? As Lob Blas, uh, she weighed it wrong or she typed in the wrong code, I don't know. But I got like 100, 200 grams for 63 cents. 
I didn't really notice until I got to check out, so... Somehow I've been playing for 50 minutes. We should probably call it an episode right here. Uh, next episode, we're going to do Piety and Dominus, and then we'll go straight into more Act cheese. 4. More cheese! And more cheese! More cheese. <laughs> I love talking about cheese. Cheese of exile. Thank okay. you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Mm, Sin Sin.